welcome to my first ever makeup slash get ready with me video. This has been one of the most productive days I've had in a really, really long time. I worked out today for the first time in three months, which is a whole other ball game. So I figured I'd just sit down and film myself getting ready. Um, just because I felt really good. Did some dishes, cleaned up around the house. Just been quite motivated, which is a really <laughs> unusual thing for me. The outfit I'm wearing today is all black. Big surprise there. So I figured I'd go for something kind of light, but not super summery because we're reaching that summer to fall transition period. So I want to work with this palette. I think it's Kat Von D. Yes, uh, the metal and matte palette. It's so cool that if you like flip it, it looks like matte. And if you flip it, it looks like metal. I don't know, this, this is just like, things that I discover because I don't really read that much about makeup so when I find these things out it's usually by accident but I just want to do something with the cool colors that are in here because it's a lot it basically looks like your classic middle school watercolor palette and ooh, this color is speaking to me silk this kind of lavender matte shade over here it looks almost pinkish but let's see how things unfold. First things first, um, putting on contacts because it is hard enough to do things that don't require using my face with glasses on. Um, I'm not about to do makeup with glasses on, but that seems like a pain. So I've heard some people are super weird about watching other people putting contacts in. Is that true? Um, I don't know. I, I kind of don't really care. Like you do you, poke your eyes out if you want, you know. Contacts are in. Uh, next on to moisturizing my face. I'd usually do this quite a while before starting my makeup just so it, everything has time to like set in and moisturize the face for reals. Oh, I've never done this on camera. It's such a weird feeling to know that I'm like going through these steps as I've seen countless people do countless times before. Oh, I love the feeling of moisturizer. Skin was feeling a little bit parched. I generally like to focus some extra moisturizer around my eyebrows because for some reason this area gets super dry and gross, like flaky skin gross. Yeah, um, possibly TMI, but you're here for it. So. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you weren't expecting this going in like she's gonna be talking about flaky dry skin. That's gross. All right, all moisturized it up. Moisturized up, moisturized it, moisturized it up. You get the point. Some lip balm. Put moisturizer and now my hands are not gripping anything. I gotta go hunt for it now. All right, so now that that's fixed, what's next? Ooh, yes. Next I'm going in with Aveeno, the Max Glow Infusion Drops. I don't have autofocus, why am I doing this? I'll just insert a close-up product shot of this. These are really nice to add like a gentle highlight. It kind of just makes your skin feel radiant and super healthy, which I'm very into. So, high points of the cheeks, um, T-zone, chin, ooh, straight hair. Padding in. This is a really nice product. If any of you follow Katie Jane Hughes, she actually talked about these a lot. Sort of been wanting something that added a little nice highlight, but was more skincare than actual like powder highlight or, um, liquid highlight and of course it's drugstore which is the best part. I can't afford that high-end stuff. What am I, Jaclyn Hill? Next up, going in with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I'm trying to find a new concealer because this is not my shade, but it works, I think, for the most part. Just doing some sad teardrop-ish things. lots on my chin because for some reason that's the darkest part of my face. Usually it would be fine if it was balanced out with all the other parts also being that dark, but somehow I always end up looking like I'm like, you know, that. 
And then I just like to blend with the finger because brushes are great, but something about finger blending, mm, it's very satisfying. And of course I put on such little product that it really doesn't make sense for me to use anything because it will take all the product off and I'll basically just be blending blank skin. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm filming this or because I'm like far enough away from the mirror to actually be able to see this, but today I have put on a lot of this concealer compared to my usual amount. Hope it doesn't look weird. Okay, how do people do nose contour? Cause I kind of just feel like So I mostly just use this to add shadows and highlights to my face. I don't really use it to cover up blemishes or anything because I don't think it works really with the amount of makeup I want on. Like to actually, so I, I think I have a little something here. I just, I, no, I just want to leave it. I just like to look like I care. That's I think my go-to makeup look. Look like I put effort in but don't actually cover up anything. Yeah, I like that. So, um, this seems to have blended in quite well today. Usually I'd also go in with the MAC face and body. <laughs> yeah, don't judge me. This is their trial, like little um, experiment pot that they give you stuff in like, oh, hey, I've never tried this product before. Can I have some sample? Sample, that's the word. Not experiment pot. So I'd basically go in with that mostly to cover up the edges of this concealer because you can really see the difference in shade because this is a bit pink for me. My eyes look a little bit hollowed out. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a wake up moment. Ooh, yes, that's how I wanna go out. Just like with nothing blended and just looking. Yo, actually, if I recreated that with like a white liner, that might actually look really cool. Mm. I need to try that. Do any of y'all make really weird faces when blending stuff close to your eye? Okay, so you know that thing I was talking about, like shade undertones being different? Yeah, you can see my eyes have sort of started to look a little grayish around here. That's because I'm trying to blend a pink undertone concealer into my very non-pink undertone skin. But it is what I have, so I'm gonna work with that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna start by making... I know you're supposed to have a transition color, but I kind of just wanna go in and play with the colors already. So I'm directly gonna go in with silk and make that my base. Not taking it too deep into the inner corner because I definitely don't. Okay, this is the wrong brush for this. I need a less dense brush. This one's perfect. Tapered a little bit. All right, now the fun part begins of matching two eyes. For some reason, inner corner highlight took me a really long time to get into. Cause I don't know, um, I'd seen way too many people who looked like a little bit raccoony. I was like, mm, that's not a trend I wanna be part of. But now I'm kinda like, mm, there's a tasteful way of doing it. I like that. Next, I kind of really want to add some dimension with sheen glitter thing, but not really like shimmery, just like a little something. Lucky that I have this collab Ultimate Eyes Cream Eye Color in the same shade. 
which works out really well. I really like this. I need more of this. I kind of accidentally ended up getting this um, from Katie because huh, my boss is actually Katie's husband. So he kind of like got some of the makeup that she wasn't going to be using, but was gifted and things like that to our workplace once. And that was wonderful. So thank you to Katie. It has like a subtle sheen, but without being super dark, which I love. As you can tell, going all out on makeup, like super fancy is not something I commonly do. I will very commonly put on just lipstick and leave. <laughs> Blending it all in. Hmm, I like that. Gives it a little definition without being overwhelming. Okay, so I don't really like mascara and I don't usually curl my lashes, but today, today's a different day. Today I'm feeling nice and punchy, if you will. Punchy as a person. Punchy as punch. I'm always afraid of taking out my eyelid accidentally with this, like, just going in and then like scrunching up the skin between the two parts of a lash curler. I don't know if anyone else is afraid of weird shit like I am. It's probably also because I don't use lash curlers that often. This is probably the first time in like a year that I've touched my eyelash curler. Okay, on to my favorite part. I really, really like blush. Can you tell how excited this makes me? It's just a really, really good one. Milani's Baked Luminoso. It's not Baked Luminoso. This Luminoso is not baked for sure. It is Baked Blush in Luminoso. Luminoso being the shape that this Baked Blush is in. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I've like carried it around so much that the top has come off, but I'm still using it because this is a perfectly good pan of blush. It's wonderful. I really love it. I usually just like swirl my massive fluffy brush on it and then tap off and then just like sweep a -roo. Okay, so I usually have to go pretty heavy handed on the blush when I first do my makeup because it just evaporates into thin air. I don't know where it disappears to, but because I don't even sweat on my face that much, but it just seems to go off somewhere. <laughs> just like the rest of my life. <laughs> temples, 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 and the nose. So something weird happened the other day. I accidentally hit my nose on something and it like turned a little red. And then I ended up like going to the bathroom and saw myself in the mirror and I was like, yo, that actually looks quite cute. Is that why people put blush on their nose? Um, so now I'm gonna start doing that too until I decide against it. <laughs> Another step I usually wouldn't do is contouring. Feeling a little extra today and that's my version of being extra is trying to give my face more definition. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna try going in with H&M's bronzer slash, it's bronzing powder. Solar Flare Bronzing Powder in Sheer Tan. Yes. This should be like, there should be an Olympics for just makeup name. Um, like remembering makeup names, but also being able to say them at the drop of a hat. Of course, the first spot is the chin because can you see? I don't know if this is a double chin. It's kind of just like there. I look like I have, like I have a really pointy, pointy chin. Yeah, it's been a struggle, but I'm coming to quite appreciate it because what else can I do other than, you know, <laughs> just work with what I have. Okay, so this particular bronzing powder is super orange. So I'm not trying to use too much of it on the sides of my face just a little so that it kind of gives me that like yeah feel you know i'm gonna go in with something more defined for 
uh, my cheek because I don't want this powder everywhere. And what is it? You're supposed to take it from the top of your ears to in line with your... There's so much math involved in makeup. It's amazing. Oh, there it is. You can see it like applying on this side of my face. Go back in with a really big brush and blend it out. Yo, this actually looks really nice. I want to do my makeup more often. It looks so good. We all know it's realistically not gonna happen. I'm gonna spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus in pink light. To blend in the Fix Plus that I just washed myself in, uh, going in with this little guy. It's so fun. It's basically a beauty blender, but on a brush, it's great. This is not a setting spray, to be clear. I don't want my makeup to live on my face all day because I just wanted to, you know, ebb and flow um, with whatever activity I'm doing throughout the day. So this is a finishing mist or skin refresher, they call it. Makes it all work together, if you will. All right, final step, eyebrows. I really like this eyebrow pencil by Flormar because it's got the little like, you know, um, brushy thing up top. And I just really like simple eyebrow pencils, which, you know, do their job, but not too well. Mm, so that I don't have to look like I have fake eyebrows from like the Halloween store all day. All right, just filling in some sparse spots. Ooh. I am pretty happy with this. Uh, considering going in with this H&M glitter mascara liner, I would only be using the liner part because I don't, I don't know, something about the like glitter mascara wand weirds me out. Nah, I, I like how simple this actually is. Do I wanna? Maybe I should. Might as well. Just a little. And now, suddenly, it has become <laughs> too much. I don't like this anymore. It was great when it was on one eye, and now that it's on both eyes, I really, really don't like it. I look like a whole circus. That's what I look like. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend it down a little and see what happens. Oh, it's still wet. Mm. Okay, now it kind of just looks like I have extremely reflective glitter all over. Why did I ruin it? Okay, we all know what I have to do. Going back in with the matte color that started it all. got too aggressive with my blending. That's just the price you pay for well-blended makeup, you know? It's not, don't ever accidentally over like blend to the point where you're poking yourself. Don't, don't do that. Three out of 10 would not recommend. Mm. Okay, became a lot darker than I wanted it to be, but it works, it works, it works. I love it. Now time for the finishing touch, which is what would look nice with this. I think maybe a nude lip would look super cute with this. I'm gonna go in with Teddy Bear by Kiss Me, which was like the subscription um, for lipsticks that I signed up for a while ago and then decided to stop because I had way too many lipsticks that I don't actually use. So I'll generally just apply a little bit on both lips in different parts and then kind of just blend it all together. Gives you the look of lipstick without the overpowering um, layer and cakiness of it. All right, so that's the complete look, I think. High chances of me walking out with this purple scrunchie, actually. Ooh, my hair looks 
I feel so grateful. My hair and skin look really nice today. Know that this is not how things always are. There will be moments where I am super frustrated at my hair and they don't just tumble out of my, you know, sleepy head bun into these waves, but lucky day today, so. I'll be right back. Gonna put on that jewelry, which I worked so hard to organize. <laughs> oh, I have lipstick in my teeth. Ah, nah. Okay, now I don't. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.